Yo! So today we're going to be looking for the best capture cards to buy in 2025. Let's get into it. First off, do you need a capture card? If you are gaming on a PC or like a computer and you're playing the games on the computer, so like you're playing your Steam library or you're playing some emulators, wherever you're playing the games are on your computer and you don't have a second computer, you do not need a capture card. You can just set up a display recording in OBS and then you can just use that. So a capture card will be absolutely no use to you. If you are wanting to stream or record content from any kind of console, so a PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 5 Pro, Xbox Series console, Xbox One, even some of the Xbox 360s, or like a Nintendo Switch or potentially the new Switch 2, then yes, you will need a capture card to capture the video signal coming from your console. So you can either stream it directly to a service like Twitch or record it to a file that you could later upload to YouTube. So let's go over the best capture cards that I recommend for 2025 for each kind of level of person. Okay, option number one is this generic brand capture card from amazon.com. You, all of you will be able to find this no matter if you're located in the United States or anywhere in North America or even Europe, or you can see them in Australia. Just look up UVC capture card and you will see this picture. So you'll see a photo that looks like this. There's a bunch of different brand names. Don't worry if your brand name doesn't match what I have here. Here, they're all the same card. They all come from probably from the same factory in China. They just have like a different stamp on them. They usually hover around $30 USD. So super inexpensive. So if you are just looking to dip your toe in a streaming on Twitch, or you wanna make Let's Play videos on YouTube or something, this capture card is perfect. Because it's UVC, it works on Mac, PC, and even Linux. So no matter the platform, and yes, even if you have like an M1, M2, M3, M4, Mac, it will work on those. And it'll work on Windows 10, Windows 11. Um, because it's UVC and what that means is is it doesn't require drivers It just automatically plug and play through the USB port even if you have full-size USB a uh, Ports as long as you're USB 3.0 it'll work So even if you have USB C ports on your Mac uh, or if they're Thunderbolt ports uh, It comes with a USB C adapter cable in the box. So very 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 cost-efficient capture card It's great. It does 1080p 60 which is all you need that's the maximum that twitch will let you even stream at and most youtube videos are in 1080p 60 anyways uh, this is a great capture card what's the drawback for it being 30 dollars so the drawback for it being 30 dollars is i found that the colors are not they don't have an, like a lot of depth uh they are like a little bit watered out but that's compared to like a really good capture card so i think most people you won't notice the difference i would just recommend you buy this unless you're seriously wanting to invest in this and you want to make this like a really uh big hobby of yours or you want to go like legit with it so this is option number one option number two this is basically for everyone else so anyone who is not okay with just the 30 dollar capture card i would recommend this capture card here this is the elgato hd 60x this was the successor to the hd 60s plus capture card again this is also a uvc capture card it's got a little bit of a better layout they put all of the usb ports on one side rather than on each end of the capture card which i found annoying with the hd 60s plus uh, i finally made the switch over to this i had this capture card for a while and i didn't like it at first uh because on mac os so any mac devices so any m series mac can't really run this card to its full potential because this capture card requires a USB 3.1 that does 10 gigabits per second through that port. So if you want this capture card, absolutely make sure that your PC has a USB 3.1, I think Gen 2. Just make sure that your USB port says that it can do 10 gigabits per second. So I'll say like 10 Gbps. Uh, because you need that high uh, capacity port to be able to stream all of the data that this capture card requires. Because this capture card, yeah, one of the features that it promotes is that it can do 4K 30, but who cares? Like, like you can't like you can only stream 4K 30 on YouTube streaming, and like why would you why would you stream 4K 30? That's stupid. Everybody wants gaming in 60 FPS minimum. The other thing with this thing, it says it can do high frame rates at 1080p. 
I've personally tested this out and I still get a lot of frame tearing, so I don't recommend it. I would just use it for the pass through maybe. What I do like about the HD60X is the colors look true. So what I mean by that is when I play on my gaming monitor and the way the game looks when I'm playing it looks like the footage that I've recorded. Where I found with the HD60S Plus and then even that $30 capture card, when I look at the recording, even if I set the bit rate like super high, I found the colors were just they just weren't as vibrant and I'd have to throw on like a little bit of saturation and a little bit of sharpening post processing in my video editor to kind of boost them up to where they should be. But I just find with the Elgato HD60X that the colors come out looking great and they look true to what your gameplay actually looked like when you played it. So I definitely would recommend this. I would also recommend the any Elgato card if you are wanting to be one of those like Warzone bros. So if you want to be somebody who plays like FPS games and you're playing with your bros and you want all the fun chat with your bros on um, PlayStation Party Chat or Xbox Chat or whatever, I would recommend one of the Elgato cards. The reason why is because you need this product. You need the Elgato Chat Link Pro to be able to just run your gaming headset into your controller and then into your capture card uh, so you can capture your party chat and the gameplay audio all in one go. You will still need a separate USB microphone to capture your talking audio um, for like if you're recording to YouTube or you're streaming on Twitch or whatever. I think with this higher end car, uh, this higher end cable, you might not need it, but I know I have the base model of this one. And with that, you do need a separate USB microphone for your audio. It'll capture all your party chat audio and the game audio, it just won't capture your speaking audio. But if you want to be one of those Warzone bros, one of those FPS shooter bros, get an Elgato capture card and then get this cable. And then that way you can use your hot gamer girl gaming headset with the microphone plugged in your controller like you normally would and you don't have to change too much stuff. But if you really want to step it up, then that's when I'd recommend just like getting your friends to switch to Discord and then just using like your microphone that you have plugged into your streaming computer uh, with your headset and everything plugged into there as well. Like I always stress, do not plug in your gaming headset into your controller when you're trying to stream your through your capture card or record video because that'll take out all the audio from the hdmi device option number three this is if you are doing like a dual pc streaming setup and you really want to go legit you can get one of these pcie cards so what that means is is this fits in one of your pcie slots on your pc so sorry mac users you won't be able to use this i don't think it's even compatible with the mac pro and if you're streaming on a mac pro like what are you doing <laughs> just like i would just like you can get like a junker pc and that's perfectly fine for streaming on it as long as it has like a semi like a, a processor from the last five years and i bought like a 40 dollar graphics card that's old and it works perfectly fine this is a pcie capture card so what that means is it doesn't require the usb connection it just slots in one of your pcie slots and then you can just plug your console into this device or have an hdmi cable coming from your gaming pc's graphics card and into this capture device and then that way you can capture it on uh, your streaming PC. So that's if you really want to go hardcore. You can still just use the Elgato HD60X and just have it plugged in via USB to your streaming PC. It's just not as elegant or pretty, but who cares? Like if you've got the slot, the USB 3.1 port for it, do it. You can even do a dual streaming PC with just like this $30 capture card. It doesn't, it really doesn't matter. Cause like I said, as long as it's an HDMI device, which most devices are, it'll work with the capture card. But yeah, these are all of the options that I recommend for capture cards in 2025. There are a bunch of options out there. I know there's some from like Razer. There's some, there's more from Aver Media. I haven't tried a lot of those cards, but these are the three cards that I recommend for like a beginner you can't like 30 bucks you can't beat that and then if you want to step it up a little bit you're spending like a little over 100 150 bucks uh and then if you want to go hardcore with one of those pcie cards then you're spending like the 200 300 range so i think these are the best options for most people but yeah if you have any other questions leave them in the comments down below